very fine. Thank you. All the best. Today, about discussion the topic intermediate second year English grammar point. And uh, next grammar point to reading comprehension. Okay. Question number section B question number 7. Okay. Uh, exam paper question number section B 7. Okay, reading comprehension. Unseen passes out of textbooks give to uh, time. And uh, next to uh, second year English book. So many type of unseen passes give me. Okay, listen to carefully. Open page number 178. I will read. Okay, guys. Carefully listen. Homework has historically been given to students to reinforce what they learn at school and ultimately to help them learn the subject better. However, too much homework is not helpful and can be control productive excessive amount of time spent on Completing homework can take away the kind social life, family time and limit their participation in sports or other activities. The amount of homework a teacher has to give to give a student should be restricted. Okay, first pass is completed and the next two critically our mind author Tammy and say report the since 1981. The almost of over give to an average sixth class child in crossed by more than 50 present. The new competitive the emerge serviced as the increasing per school. Increases the value of curriculum. Many teachers defined large amount of homework, claiming that they help students to face a world that is becoming increasingly competitive. However, Dr. Kelovera authored the end of homework. However, Dr. Kelovera authored the end of homework and agrees that doing homework, doing school has little no or no effect on successfully studying skills of students when they join college. Okay guys, I will again read this passage homework at school. Listen to carefully. Next I will ask you question and answers. Okay, listen to once again. Homework has historically been given to students to reinforce what they learn at school and ultimately to help them learn subject better. However, too much homework is not helpful and can be controlled productive excessive amount of time spent on completing homework can take away the kids social life, family time and do limit their participation in sports or other activities. The amount of homework the teacher has to give to a student should be restricted. Critically Almond Hathar Tommy Senex reports that since 1981 the amount of homework give to an average sixth class child in crossed by more than 50 present. The new competitive that emerged serviced as the interesting for school. In cross the volume of the curriculum, many teachers define large amount of a 
homework. Claim that it helps students to face the world that is the becoming increasingly competitive. However, Dr. Kedavera authored the end of homework. Agrees that doing homework, doing school has little or no effect. Unsuccessful study skills of the students when they join college. Are you In colleges, colleges uh, join college the a homework at school. Do you work to homework your school? Okay. Uh, the two. Next two going to homework question is answers. Okay. Look at the blackboard. Listen to carefully. Question answers. Okay, first one. 
example what is the process about type of three types three types give to a b c okay first type of advantages of over next are the disadvantages of homework are about about homework what is the answer so b b is right answer the disadvantages of homework disadvantages okay next one second what does a student miss when he spend excessive amount of time on homework amount of time at over answer social life family time participation in sports and other activities excessive amount of time on homework at homework excellent length of social life family time social life family time participation in sports and other activities very interesting to do. very interesting to your school homework yes sports and other activities next one third what is the aim of homework it means goal the aim process what is the learning My name is Esther Amashni, ABC Chemistry, KZB Vendapata, East Godavari District. Today's lesson, I am going to explain the 6th chapter, P-Block Elements in Senior Chemistry. P-Block Elements. P-Block Elements means the differentiating electron. That means the last coming electron enters into the P orbital of atom of elements are called P-Block Elements. They are arranged in the left side of the periodic table. P-Block Elements some subsequent groups are third A group fourth A group fifth A group sixth A group seventh A group 
our eighth eighth group. Thirteenth group, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, or uh, seventeen. Eighteen groups. Thirteenth group elements. First element is boron. Boron family, carbon family. Fifteenth group elements and nitrogen family. Sixteenth group elements oxygen family. Seventeenth group elements so halogen family. Eighteenth group elements so zero group elements are noble gases. Today I discuss sixteenth group elements. These two are discussed in the first year. This fifteenth uh, group elements discussed by Anjani Madam. Today discuss sixteenth group elements. Sixteenth group elements: oxygen, atomic symbol O. Sulfur, S, selenium, S, E, tellurium, T, polonium, P. These are the Elements of sixteenth group. In this group, first element is oxygen. So this group also known as the oxygen family. Oxygen family. This group also known as the sulfurous family. Charcoal's family. Charcoal means ore forming. These elements ore forming elements. Ore forming elements. That's why sixteenth group elements are is known as charcoal's family. Next, let us discuss the occurrence of these group elements. Occurrence. Occurrence of this group elements. First, see the oxygen occurrence. Oxygen. Oxygen is the most abundant element of all the elements on the earth. Forty-seven percent of oxygen occurs at the crust. On Earth crust. Twenty percent, twenty-one percent is of oxygen occurs in atmosphere. Next element, sulfur. Sulfur. Abundance of sulfur on Earth crust is zero point zero three two. Zero point one percent is. That means less amount of sulfur occurs on the earth crust. The sulfur occurs in the form of sulfates and sulfides. Sulfates, for example, gypsum. It's molecular form, na? See, it is O four to H two O. Epsom salt, small clad form, na? G S O four seven H two O seven also H two O. By it, B A S O four. 
sometimes like galena galena small platform la pbs zinc blend small platform la jls the sulfur occurs in the form of sulfates and sulfides sulfates like gypsum epsom salt byrate and sulfide likes sulfides like galena zinc blend a trace of sulfur occurs in some organic materials such as eggs proteins onions mustard mustards nails hair and wool these are the sources of the sulfur the sulfur occurs from this source next element selenium and tellurium Is written as NH2NP4. NH2 
and be four. Sixteenth group element electronic configuration is NH two and be four. Next, let us discuss the physical properties of this group elements. Physical properties.
see the chemical properties of the 16th group elements. First one, oxidizing states. Oxidizing states of the 16th group elements. These are oxygen is equal to minus negative oxidation state except in case of OF2 in OF2 oxygen is equal to plus 2 oxidation state in H2 oxygen is equal to minus 2 oxidation state sulfur is equal to minus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 oxidation states minus 2 oxidation states decreases down the group here there is no negative oxidation state and plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 oxidation states are more common plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 oxidation are more common plus, plus 6 oxidation decreases there is no plus 6 oxidation uh, at polonium polonium plus 6 oxidation state decreases down the group plus 4 oxidation state increases down the group plus 4 oxidation state plus 4 oxidation state increases the down the group because of inactivate effect inactivate effect inactivate effect means electronic configuration is 2 and 4 the two s electrons does not participate in bond formation that is the inactivate effect due to inactivate effect plus 6 oxidation state is decreases plus 4 oxidation state increases in the group now you see the anomalous behavior of oxygen Anomalous behavior of oxygen. Anomalous behavior of oxygen. Anomalous behavior means uh, different behavior from its original order. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium are the system group elements. Oxygen shows anomalous behavior from, it, from this group. Oxygen exists in a diatomic molecules. Diatomic molecule remaining are polyatomic molecules polyatomic molecules oxygen exists in gases form at room temperature gases form at room temperature while remaining elements solid form exist in solid form at room temperature oxygen is also native oxidation states native oxidation Next, oxygen is paramagnetic in nature. Oxygen is paramagnetic in nature. Remaining elements are diamagnetic in nature. Diamagnetic in nature. These are the anomalous behavior of the oxygen.
oxygen exists in the atomic, the atomic molecule uh, while remaining elements of only atomic molecules. Oxygen exists in uh, gas, uh, gases form at room temperature while other elements of this group uh, exist in solid form. Oxygen uh, uh, exhibits dental oxidation states remaining positive oxidation states. Oxygen uh, nature is a uh, paramagnetic nature while other elements of this group uh, have diamagnetic nature. These are the enamel behavior of oxygen.
These are the chemical properties of the this group elements. Also, this group elements react with halogens and form a hexahalides, tetrahalides, and dihalides. Diamonds two oxygen two oxygen in this molecule that is dioxygen. Preparation of our dioxygen preparation first 
we learn preparation of oxygen dioxide. Preparation. Dioxygen is prepared from oxygen containing salts like chlorates and permanganates by heating. On heating, potassium chlorate on heating gives a 2 moles of potassium chlorate and 3 moles of oxygen. It is also prepared for potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate, molecular permanganate, KMLO4. This is heated. The potassium permanganate gives K2MLO4. Plus manganese dioxide plus oxygen. And next preparation thermal decomposition of metal oxides. The oxygen is prepared from thermal decomposition of metal oxides. Metal oxides like, for example, thermal decomposition gives. Lead oxide plus uh, water. In these cases, 10% uh, of water oxygen is prepared. The more large scale of dioxygen is prepared from electrolysis of water. Next, see the properties of dioxygen. Oh, properties of dioxygen. Oxygen 
react with the carbon and form a carbon dioxide. Is it? Dioxide. For example, metal. Ca plus uh, water. Metal calcium. Uh, oxygen react with calcium form a two Ca bo calcium oxide. For example, metal like uh, aluminium is react with uh, oxygen and form a aluminium trioxide. That is the bauxite. Oxygen react with uh, non metals and uh, metals. Oxygen react with metals and form a non uh, sorry oxygen react with non metals uh, and form a non metal oxides. Uh, 